I've learned more about this case in the last 24 hours, so I just want to share with you guys. Yes, apparently one of the girls who bullied Aubrey Wyatt, her aunt is a district attorney. However, the trial that is going to court this month is not a criminal case. It is a civil case, which means the district attorney will have no hand in it. That being said, let's say Heather Wyatt were to press criminal charges against these girls for a wrongful death suit. Let's say Heather were to press charges against these girls for causing the death of Aubrey Wyatt. If it were to go to that, then it would be a criminal case. And then, ethically, if the aunt is the DA in this jurisdiction, ethically, she should recuse herself. And speaking of recusing ourselves, some people on the internet have let me know and said in the comments that apparently the judge that is overseeing the civil case is family friends with one, if not all of the parents that are suing Heather Wyatt. The judge overseeing the case that is going to trial this month is family friends with one, if not all of the parents of the girls that bullied Aubrey Wyatt until she took her own life and are now suing Heather Wyatt for slander. And let's be clear, slander is only slander if it is false. Coming on the internet and sharing screenshots of what your daughter was texting you and sharing screenshots of reports made, sharing screenshots and sharing documents and sharing proof of XYZ is not slander. Coming on the internet and sharing your daughter's story and getting this story out there and trying to get people to remember her name and say her name is not slander. It was also brought to my attention that Heather did not even mention these girls. Apparently some of the students that went to school with them were the ones that name dropped these girls and Heather got blamed for it. So why is she even being sued for something she didn't do? In fact, both Heather and Aubrey's stepdad, he's the father to Aubrey's brother, okay? They have both specifically asked for people to stop naming these girls. So I'm so glad that I did not in my original video. I also learned that Heather didn't want to share how Aubrey took her own life, and apparently people are just out here on the internet sharing it, even though she wanted to keep that private or to herself for whatever reason. It's none of our business why she wants to keep it to herself. She didn't want that out there, and yet people are putting it out there. I do not know why there is so much disrespect happening towards this mother who lost her daughter be because she took her own life due to extreme bullying. And not just like a few months of it, like three plus years of it, okay? And this is why Aubrey's story is so important to share, right? Honestly, fuck those girls that did this to her because I know damn well you did not go on her memorial page or the GoFundMe page and talk about how much you missed her when you, you literally caused this. Your actions, your words have consequences. And unfortunately for you, the consequences were dire this time around. What a fucked up thing to have to learn at 13, 14 years old. That sucks for you. I'll keep you guys updated as I learn more because I'm constantly reading comments and articles and watching other videos because I want to learn as much as I can about this because this is such an important story to share. But y'all, can we please just be respectful of a grieving mother's wishes? Why, why can we not do that as fellow human beings? Why the fuck can we not do that? 